In this video, I will show you how to add password in Microsoft Excel. There are three ways to add password. First, we can add password to Protect Worksheet. Second, we can apply password through Protect Workbook. And third, we can add password through the file protection. Now let me start with the first one, Protect Worksheet. Before anything else, make sure that the lock properties are set up in the cells that you want to protect. For example, I need to protect this data. Let me highlight that data from cell B2 to cell D7, right click, and then select format cells. Under Format Cells, you can click on the last tab, Protection tab. As you can see, inside the Protection tab, we have two check boxes, Lock and Hidden. When you check Lock, it will lock the cell references. You cannot select or edit any of the data in this worksheet. When you check Hidden, Hidden can hide the data in the formulas bar. Now, in the meantime, let me stick with lock and click OK button. Now, in order to implement that setup inside the format cells, you can simply click on the review tab and select protect sheet button. Inside the protect sheet button, the first text box, we can add the password. And we have several check boxes at the bottom that is displayed. This check boxes represents Excel feature. If that Excel feature is checked, that means it is allowed even if this worksheet contains a password. If not, then the command is not allowed. So we will stick with the setting. We are allowing select lock cells and select unlock cells. The last thing that you need to do is to type a password. When you type a password, you can use combination of text and number. But make sure that if you use text, you remember the case value. Remember that your password is case sensitive. Okay, now for this example, let me have a basic password. The password is one, two, three. Click OK button. Retype the password, one, two, three. And now, as you can see in this worksheet, if I try to double click on the cell, Excel has this message. The cell or chart you're trying to change is unprotected sheet. To make a change and protect the worksheet, you make be requested to enter a password. Okay, so we cannot edit any value on the cell. At the same time, if you try to look at the tabs, starting in the home tab, some commands are disabled. Insert tab, right? Page layout, formulas tab, data, etc. Now, if I need to unlock this worksheet, let me go back to review. Click Unprotect Sheet button and type my password to unlock this worksheet. And we can still, we can now modify again the data. Going back to the tabs, the controls are already available. Number two, the second way to add password in Microsoft Excel is to apply Protect Workbook. In order to apply Protect Workbook, you can find that under Review tab, and you can find that beside the Protect Sheet button. Click on Protect Workbook, and over here, you have to type a password. Well, password is the same. Let me use one, two, three for this example. To type the password, one, two, three. All right. One thing that you will notice if you add a Protect Workbook password is when you right-click on this worksheet, some 
commands for protect for the workbook is protected. You cannot add a new worksheet. You cannot delete the existing worksheet. You cannot rename, move or copy, change the tab color, hide or unhide worksheet. Okay. Now, if you need to display again this command or enable this command, go back to review, protect workbook. You will be required to enter a password, type one, two, three. Go back to example worksheet, right click. Now you can have it again. All right, and the last one is to add a password within the file. So you can do that when you go to home tab, sorry, file tab, you go to save as, browse, and when you browse, you need to save the file. But before you save the file, make sure that you add a password within the file. How do we do that? Beside the save button, we have a tools, click the drop down button, and I need you to click the general options. Inside the general options, we are prompt to have two passwords. Password to open and password to modify. Password to open means read only. Password to modify means read and write. In our case, for password to open, let me type one, two, three. Password to modify, let me do the same thing, type one, two, three. Click OK button, retype the password. If we're done, save the file. Now, in order for me to check if the password for this file is enabled, I can simply close the file. When I open the file in my desktop, the first thing that will happen, it will ask me to enter the password. The first password that is prompt is the password to modify. Let me type here one, two, three, enter. Second password is the password to open. So let me type here one, two, three. After doing that, we can open the file and see the data inside this file number one. So how do we remove that password? You can always go back to file button. Go back to save as button, browse. But before you save it, go back to tools, general options. Make sure that this area is erased. Click OK, save it. Place. The next time we open the file, it will not ask us to enter any password. And that is how we add a password in Microsoft Excel.